Today we're looking at WWE 2K23. We're gonna have a conversation. I created a post a little while ago regarding features of the community that players wanna see in the next game. It's coming out sometime in March. So today, let's have a conversation and let's go through a little bit of Q&A for WWE 2K23. Specifically features, we're looking at features here, so let's get started. Smack Talks, the legendary Smack Talks himself does come in with this and says, tag team finishers in universe mode. Good golly, my friend, can you believe it? Would you imagine a world where we were able to do a tag team finisher, brother, inside universe mode? It'd be a crazy day. That feature is broken in 2K22. I don't know why. I don't know why they can't get these things right. But yes, Smack Talks, tag team finishers, full ability to customize tag team finishers in universe mode. It's definitely something we need in the next game. Because I do feel, just for a sidebar here, I do think 2K23 it's gonna be like that 0.5 upgrade from last year's game. I think we're gonna see incremental changes and updates. I think they got a laundry list though, stuff they gotta fix. Jonathan Jameson writes in, J Rebellious 2018, good man, lots of good creations, talking specifically about creations, saying more custom creation freedoms. Cause the tag teams, the entrances, the arenas. Then Creation Suite, I agree. Creation Suite needs a lot of help. You can go really down the rabbit hole of what creation features that we need, but at a high level, custom entrances, more ability to customize arenas and shows. Having shows in there is great, but I do feel that the arena piece, like day night cycle doesn't work. There's a lot of things that need to be tweaked and updated and maybe even just some new arena designs. I really wish one thing that they would try to improve on is going to be like the crowd density. I really wish that large stadiums felt like stadium shows maybe different camera angles, stuff to make fans feel like they're gonna go do a crown jewel event, a WrestleMania, and it really feels like they're in this giant, giant stadium. More customization would be great. Ah, good one here coming in from Infinite Rick. And other people were chiming in too with this, but saying stackable pile of chairs that you can carry or slam interact like environmental attacks. The current system sees them sliding around like hockey pucks. This is a great, great little find and a great piece here. It's very specific. I do agree. Stacking chairs, making the objects feel like they have a little more weight to them. And that if you are going to interact with them, that they don't just completely slide and skip out of the ring like crazy. Using the analogy for hockey pucks is very appropriate because that's exactly what happens. I should be able to stack six chairs on each other and maybe more damage is done to my opponent based on how many weapons they're going through. You should be able to stack two ladders on each other, on top of each other on the ground and be able to perform a move that maybe damages both of them. So better weapons physics too, I think that would go a long way. WWE Attic for Life, good man, great creator. Unlimited cost slots, go figure, you want more creation slots. I'm shocked. No logo limits, those are definitely ones that from the creation side, they need to be updated. Creation slots and the logo limits is, is crazy for creators, people that do really great work like Attic for Life. The slot limit alone needs to be increased. We've been sitting at 100 slots for however long. If they came out and they made it unlimited or at least doubled it, I think fans would be a lot happier with next year's game. Lee Valentine, an amazing creator. Uh, great points in here that I want to highlight. She mentions custom music. I love it, Lee, but I don't I don't know if we can get the custom music in there. Entrances, more female legends. That, 100%. Like, I wish they would do a Road to WrestleMania. I still think we're going to get a traditional showcase for next year, maybe like an Edge or Randy Orton, something like that. But I do wish that they would do a Road to WrestleMania where we could see more female legends get highlighted. And knowing WWE, they want to go with the most popular ones that they could market to. And I just think your Trish Stratus, Lita, China, you could do something with just the main, main women in there. Now Lee's probably gonna come in and say, yeah, but you got Michelle McCool and you got Candace Michelle and you got, you got just Jazz. Like you got so many you could pick from. Victoria, like I know there's a million we could pick from. But even just from the roster side, I really agree. We should be seeing more female legends put into the game to fill out the roster. I mean, we didn't get Lita for, I assume, contractual reasons. Now that she came back for that little match that she had, I think that it's safe to say that Lita is going to be in the game. Trish, I hope they could bring in others like Sable, Candice Michelle, Michelle McCool, Victoria. Molly Holly, she's a coach within WWE and NXT. Like, I don't get it. So the female roster 100% needs to get 
like a lot of attention. Tyler makes a good one. Tyler Balmer here says, fun, entertaining season slash road to WrestleMania that I'll want to replay in the future. Tyler makes a great point here. Replayability within that showcase mode, that road to WrestleMania. I liked Road to WrestleMania because of the replay value. You could add things in there to not only just make it more fun with the options of like, you know, playing Road to WrestleMania one or number five for different stars, and they're like two hours each. There's some replay in there, but you could do things within each Road to WrestleMania where it's like you gotta achieve five stars for completing certain missions, challenges within each of them so that it creates more replay. Mr. Muse brings up one that is talked about a lot lately. I think a lot of players have their fingers crossed for this is that bringing back promos for universe mode. We've talked about this before. We've seen questions pop up online too regarding this. Promos is an interesting one. We all want it, but how many of us really enjoyed how promos was laid out? I think the feature needs to be there. I don't disagree with that. What I want though is an improved system overall where there's a little bit more customization. And this also goes into other people's points of having more customization built into the game like create a story as an example, something that so many fans want to see brought back. I don't know if we're really going to get that because I think 2K23 is that little incremental upgrade from last year. But bring back promos. You got the coding for it. Put it back in there. Doll it up a little bit better. Put a new coat of paint on it. Improve the promo selection. Allow it to transition for different stories and to the rivalries that you have set up. You could do it with bringing back promos. I really hope they do it. Uh, She's Apple 23 says live updates for tires every few weeks or so. Special referee match options, intergender matches, promos to return for universe. Live updates is something that I'm clamoring for. If I got tiny little updates for 2K23 in terms of just like what the game is going to be all about. If they told me that they have turned on live updates and we're going to see things like attires for superstars get updated once a month or not that they have to do everybody but just prominent stars they want to even cherry pick. If certain superstars have completely changed their look or Roman Reigns has shaved his part of his hair and he's got a different look for his beard and he's got brand new merch, why not put that in the game? Or at the very least, put in those logos consistently every few months so that we can use Roman's new logos on his t-shirts, Sami Zayn getting a new shirt. Put in new Trons. The Titan Trons are very basic. For WWE, I mean. Like, they're not complicated things that they produce anymore. They don't do the whole vignettes for any of their stars. It's usually just the name. So like when the Bloodline, who has a brand new updated, more red and black like look to their Titantron, have 2K upload that in a live update so that we can get our hands on that and then we can update the Bloodline entrance. It just makes too much sense. But live, live updates for specifically like attires, I 100% agree. Give us new looks to stars. And I think that live updates is the way they should have been going for years now by updating the roster, being able to give us new attires, even being able to do things like give us brand new updated arenas. If WWE is gonna have an updated Money in the Bank or they're gonna have another WrestleMania arena, we wanna see that. A great example is that of WrestleMania because by the time the game comes out, WrestleMania is like weeks away. They're not gonna include the current WrestleMania that's upcoming because they don't know what it looks like. But like they did with NXT 2.0, which is an odd thing, they uploaded that, they patched that arena in. They can do it. So I'd love for 2K to really double down on this and give us things like updated arenas when there is a new one. It would make fans happy. You could even charge money for add-ons for live updates. There's revenue in there. Come on, 2K. Raymond Zareel uh, throws this in too. Unlockable My Faction Models, which is, yes. We all need that. I don't know what they're gonna do. Mike Straw came out with a article and we covered this on a 2K23 video we did about a week ago, covering Mike's rumored speculation points, stuff he's kind of heard, rumblings of like my faction returning, my GM getting an update. I don't know if they're gonna change around my faction to unlock those models. Fans are really upset and to this day, they're really not enjoying the fact that every time 2K posts something about my faction, everyone is just dumping on it and wants everything unlocked. If you can't give us the model, then do the My Faction thing, but then just patch in the attires and the looks and the hair and things so that we can create the model. Like just put, just try to put the model in the game. That's all I'm saying. The other one that Raymond brings up is GM mode to have tag and mid card titles. Again, this was brought up on Mike Straw's recent article that GM mode is expected to have mid card titles put in there. Not only that, and a lot of the other comments and replies to all of this on this thread, 
is for my GM to have more customization and get a little bit deeper. I think there's a really good chance they will do that. I mean, frankly, I think they just need to hybrid both universe and GM into one big mega mode. They won't do that, but if they keep giving us more tweaks, more ability to customize in my GM, it starts to look and feel way more like universe mode. Because in my GM, I can play the matches. I can spectate the matches as the general manager. That's me, the creator. They just need to give us kind of the open sandbox element of it. Just slap it in there one way or another. We can customize our card every single week through my GM, but if they can add all the titles or even just the mid card titles, it starts looking a lot more like universe mode. Minus like, you know, some details. Ah, from the basement brings up a good one. I love a lot of people's Twitter handles. It's really fun. Better sounding and looking and more reactive crowd atmosphere is so important. And I really think it's something people overlook. I 100% agree. Sound design is critical. You need the game to sound good. The whole point of wrestling, like 80% of it is crowd. Thunderdome was challenging. You don't have that crowd, that noise for the stars to feed off of. It doesn't sound good. And if the crowd is flat when we're watching WWE, it's noticeable and it can bring the match down. But with a hot crowd, it brings it up. And I think you need to do the exact same thing when it comes to sound design within the game. They need to really double down on this by reinvesting into crowd noises, making sure that they're getting hot for big hot moments, hot tags that are coming when they hit a signature, when there's a near fall. You want ebbs and flows with the crowd and not just the same chance all the way through. Fans are gonna wanna hear Seth Rollins crowd sing along in the game. They're gonna wanna hear that and they're gonna wanna have it sound really good. So I totally agree, there needs to be more reaction and interaction from the crowd sounds that we get. Carrington brings up one, just a short and sweet one regarding matches, but defending the title in the Royal Rumble. Yeah, what the heck is that about? They got rid of it. I like that. I like the feature that I could have a 10 man rumble and then just toggle to turn on, yes, put it for a title and decide what title I want it for. Like, I love that feature. They've done it on WWE with Roman, like they defended the title. And it's just like a toggle feature on and off. So small things like that can enhance the mode. Not only that with the Royal Rumble, I wish that they would give more interaction with the Rumble match itself by when the countdown clock goes, pan the camera for the next person that's gonna be entering. If you put in highlight reel, you can do this. You turn the camera and then you could see the superstar that comes down running down the ramp. I miss when we had that. We had that in like the days like No Mercy. Someone would just interfere with the match and then boom, the camera would switch to the guy running the little pixels and the polygons and he'd be running down like frantically down to the ring. I want 2K to do this for 2K23 for the rumble. Turn that camera. Give us if you have like big stars, let's say like high, high ratings, like in the nineties or something, or they're categorized as legends. If you have defaulted legends in the game, maybe they get a bigger entrance showcase where they get five seconds of them coming out for their entrance and it's highlighted in the rumble. The rumble is about big moments, entrances, who's gonna show up. So I think they could do a lot more with the Rumble if they tried. The last one we'll finish up with today comes from Breeze Us Walks, who mentions a couple of things that I think we all agree on. Double championship entrance, rather it's AI mode or universe, and double title entrances needs to come back into the game. It mentions here RK Bro entrance too. Yeah, we need them to update and continuously update the entrances, the team entrances, patch it in. They've done these things. I'm really surprised with RK Bro that the name is in there for the creation, but they never patched it to add in the entrance. But we got things like Hurt Business unlocked and they added more teams throughout patches. So they're cherry picking and doing odd things this way. I just never really understand why. So maybe 2K23 will have better features. I appreciate everybody for their feedback, everything with the comments, what you included, but let me know in the comments below, what are the things that you want? for 2K23. I'll see you on the next episode. Oh, and hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. That helps out a lot. I'll see you on the next one.